Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. And let's get going from where we left off last time. Which was in the dormitory, with Edna still cowering under the bed. Yeah, anyway. Let's get moving! And I don't remember the other girl's name, but she's no longer here, so let's see what Shy has to say. Lily had always thought Shy was very pretty. Much prettier than herself. But cutting up, that's what... Hello, Lily. I was just thinking of Riot Girl. Riot Girl is totally cool because Riot Girl wears Shibuya clothes. Don't you think that's totally fascinating? <sighs> Suka also thinks that Riot Girl is totally cool. And Suka likes Shibuya too. Shibuya is totally cool. Don't you think so too? Um, yeah, it certainly makes you think. I think way too much about things like that. My brain is getting all fuzzy. But Riot Girl is cool, right? Yes, Riot Girl is cool, I, I guess. I, I'm guessing that's supposed to be some series in game here. What the heck is that below me? Lily was delighted. She'd never seen a living clown up close before. Only the dead one, that appeared at her window at night. What, what did you just say? What was that last part? That sounds like something that would happen in my dreams. I, I don't know, man. That, cl that clown giving me bad vibes, man. I'm not going down there yet. Did you see him? He looked ticked at the world. Wait a minute. Did I talk to Kapu yet? Psst. Lily, I really have to ask you something. Do you like me? Uh-huh. Thank goodness. I wasn't really sure, because there's something on my mind. It's... It's about my feelings, and I'd like to ask you a really huge favor. Would you do something for me? Uh-huh. Really? Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, calm down, Kapu. So, would you... Uh-huh. <sighs> I really have to meet her. So, could you just give her the letter? Man, that's so cool of you. You're really the best, Lily. Okay, I don't know why that cut off there all of a sudden. It, it, the whole thing he was saying was, would you give this note to, I think it was Shy or was it Suka? I think it was Shy, the girl with that was obsessed with Suka and... Whatever the other thing is, I can't quite remember. Anyway, we're going to go deliver that message. If you are curious, there's something along the lines of Lily was devastated. Because of the whole... Him not liking her thing. It's, it's actually rather sad when you get into it. But... Uh. Yeah, poor Lily. Having to give your crush's love letter to another girl, in this case. Oh! What fabulous thing do you have there? Is it for me, by any chance? Lily hesitated. Certainly not because she begrudged Shy her meeting with Kapu. No. She was worried. Who knew what sort of things could be in the envelope? A snake? A scorpion? The anthrax virus? In the end, she decided to give Shy the letter, after all. Uh-huh. Wow! It's from Kapu! A date? Oh, how exciting! I have to put on more glitter! Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness we decided to deliver that letter. I mean, Lily was such a nice girl, she was genuinely worried about Shy. There might have been anthrax in there. But because she'd already made a promise and she was such a good girl, she decided it'd be worth the risk. On a serious note, though, we're not done. We're going to the chapel. Why are we going to the chapel? We already were in the chapel. Because there's a freaking sword laying on the ground. That's why we're going in the chapel. Lily was always happy when something was left over. But usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. What was that second one? Breadcrumbs and bones? I think that's supposed to be a metaphorical bones in this place, you know, the communion and such. Not actual bones. Uh, that's a weird glitch. I guess I can't examine that. Lily was always happy. Or it was the same thing either way. Okay, I'm not sure why it like didn't let me do that at first. The good old confession booth. Lily had been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. Alright, I thought maybe that might give me some fun, some funny text about... I can't remember his name being stuck in the confession booth, but oh well. This clown... Something don't sit right with me, man. 
He's smoking a cigarette. Well, that's the societally acceptable thing he's smoking. I don't know what he actually is smoking. Forgive me. You? No. Another one of them. Get lost. I'm not in the mood for jokes today. You picked an awfully weird profession, then. Um... You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, right? My name is Ernest. Funny Ernest. <laughs> and I applied as a child therapist here. But no, Mother Superior had already found someone else. That Dr. Marcel. A nuthouse shrink. Can you believe it? I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Even if I knew where they were. <sighs> That's what I get for retraining as a psychologist. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. I should have stayed a plumber. This guy's got his life figured out. You can just tell from the way he talks. Anyway, what do you know about Dr. Marcel? You said you wouldn't let your kids anywhere near him. That's probably a bad thing he's coming here then. Just don't ask me about Dr. Marcel. I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Even if I knew where they were. He's a bitter, evil man. He's known everywhere for hating children. Ever since a little girl shoved him down the stairs. Huh, serves him right. That old twit. So I guess that would be the Kanan ending to Breakout. She did, in fact, push Dr. Marcel down the stairs. Always a good thing if you're familiar with the first game. I guess now you have your answer. But seriously, though, um, you probably shouldn't be smoking cigarettes. You? Why are you staring at my cigarettes like that? They're not for sensitive children like you. Got it. Well, okay. Uh, you were a plumber. Um... I used to be a plumber. Now I plumb people's souls. What's so hard to understand? That's a pretty big leap there, but you don't really strike me as a clown. You, well, I guess clowns can be sad too. You want me to show you a few tricks now or what? Now oh, rotten. Uh... Yeah, sure, you offered. Um... What? No. Oh. You want to see a few tricks, don't you? I knew I shouldn't have said that. Okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a cute balloon animal, and you leave me in peace, okay? All right? What's it gonna be? Okay, now this is actually going to seem rather stupid, and that's because it rather is stupid. But out of these, can you guess which one we should choose? If you said the hypercube, I don't know what that is, and I don't think even he does. I... he might actually be able to make human DNA if he actually knew what it is. Now the poodle and all that, eh, that's child play, man. We need the wrench. A wrench? Why not? I know all about wrenches. I don't know how you make a balloon animal of a wrench, considering it's not an animal, but I guess it's just a balloon copy of a wrench? I don't know what you call that. Why did we want the copy of the wrench? Hmm. The chandelier's chain was attached by just one screw. Maybe this was a w This will never work. Or rather, it should never work. You never should say never will, though. What Lily now did was actually void of all logic, and she could already hear uproar of the online reviewer, but she did it anyway. <laughs> the online reviewer sounded a bit hoarse today. Maybe they shouldn't smoke so much. I love this game's tongue-in-cheek commentary. Oh, well, at least we got the balloon back, which is good for helping Edna. I almost called her Lily. Good for helping Edna. Go down the stairs. There we go. Lily thought Edna's self-portrait was very well done. She would have given her right arm to draw like that. Unfortunately, she wasn't strong enough to get through the bone. That's disturbing on numerous levels, but I'm not sure why my game's glitching like that and not letting me examine things every now and then. Anyway, we're told to get that balloon. We're going to get that darn balloon. We're gonna help Edna. Done. Now only two pieces of evidence were left to completely erase Edna's tracks. The clown had just left his cigarettes here. He must have been in a great hurry. 
I might as well pick it up. You never know when you could use cigarettes. Well, when you ever should use cigarettes, you can use them whenever you want. But whether you, when you should use them, I don't know. Now, I guess we should go back and tell Kapu the news, considering we went and delivered his message to Shy. Oh, they, I guess they're already busy. Ah, yes. Love. Lily didn't want to disturb the two. They deserved to enjoy the moment. Soon, they'd start to hate each other. And Shy would start losing her hair from all the grief. Ah, yes. Love. I knew the fr I knew that the first time was not finished. I knew I couldn't just let that one go. But now the Kapu is no longer in front of the maintenance flap. We can actually go in there. Where's the maintenance flap go? Well, actually, I gonna say I don't remember. Apparently, up there. Now, what to do when I'm actually up here is another thing entirely I don't remember. The hands of the school clock looked like Iris's. And the ornate mesh formed by the flower baskets looked like the blades of swords in a fantasy novel. They really made you want to pierce them. Oh, that gave, that gave me the answer. The swords, yeah, you're supposed to put the sword in the, in the, this. The sword may not have reached the firecrackers or the rope, but it fit perfectly into the mesh of the clock hands. So perfectly that it got stuck in there. Now what was Lily to do? Wait until the gargoyle dropped down of its own accord? She didn't have that much time. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Wait a minute, why are firecrackers up there in the first place? How did they ever... Hooray! Lily had found Edna's firecrackers. How did they ever get up there? Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that's probably just an issue with my mouse. It's like clicking twice really quickly, even though I'm not. I don't know. I might have to get a new mouse one of these days. Oh my! Apparently, Birgit had set down her work, but she had completed the banner with the Puma motif. Too bad that Lily couldn't congratulate her on the good job she'd done anymore. This game is just getting darker and darker and darker. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, the game is just getting really, really grim. It's, it's, um... Uh, oh my. People killing themselves, people dying left and right, exploding from bombs, getting eaten alive by termites. I mean, the whole thing's just going to hell. The clock in the tower sounded duller than usual today. Was it really that late already? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Finally, the firecrackers were within reach. If only Kappa had seen how cleverly Lily had managed all this. But he and Shy were now in a better place. Probably in the garden behind the cafeteria. I'm sure that's where they are. After all, you know, everybody likes eating in the garden except for me because there's bugs there. Done. Now, only one piece of evidence was left to completely erase Edna's tracks. But, you know, most normal people who don't have a horrific phobia of insects, they eat in the garden, so I'm sure that's where they are. I'm sure this thing has nothing to do with anything right now. Pay no attention to it whatsoever. Where am I going now? Let's see, I got the balloon, I got the firecrackers, what's the other one? The other one is the inscription on the tree, isn't it? How do I get that out? Okay, how do I do that? I need... Do I do that now or do I do that later? Oh crap, I don't remember what to do. Oh wait, I remember now. Sorry, it took a little while. I remember where we're supposed to go now. The uh, wrong way. Uh, I remember we're supposed to go now. We just got the Puma banner, or Puma, Puma, as Mother Superior likes to call it. And if you remember, Mother Superior was the one that actually liked Puma, so... If you remember up here, there is a hook. Now, I know most people, when they first play the game, would go, Aren't you supposed to put the banner in the cafeteria? I... You... I don't remember. It's either this or the cafeteria. It appears to be this, though, because she's walking. Lily could just forget about that idea. Okay, so it might be the cafeteria. I don't have all the answers. I wish I did, but I don't. 
Okay, so now that I... Let's try this on this free space. Because I think this is where it's actually supposed to go. Lily almost jumped in the air with excitement. There hadn't been a celebration in the convent for a very long time. Mother Superior had already begun the ceremony when Lily entered the classroom. It was a lovely celebration. The only odd thing was that Birgit was nowhere to be seen. And I hereby award you a Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. Your embro... Broidering skills, an excellent sense of duty, are a superb example to your fellow students. You, Birgit, are a textbook example of how strict and systematic g -g 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 guidance can result in great achievements. Ah, Lily, follow the example of your fellow student and do some cleaning. If only all ch ch children were as conscientious as Birgit. The celebration was very short, but Lily enjoyed it anyway. This was probably the best day of her life. Okay, this is really starting to get annoying, that whole not talking for the first thing, because I think what Mother Superior said when I put the banner up was this calls for a celebration, or this is a great embroidery, this calls for a celebration, something along those lines, but... On an actual note, Mother Superior, how high are you right now? Because you didn't notice the body hanging there. Conscientious? I don't call that that. Lily had never seen a cake so up close before. She could have cried out of happiness for Birgit. I don't think Birgit's gonna be eating the cake, Lily. You can take it. The cake was meant for Birgit and no one else. Lily didn't even deserve to lick the pastry shell. Self-worth issues. Pretty sure those are genetic. There it was. The Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. Birgit had certainly earned it, but why had she left it out like that? I would, uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess, but I'm gonna guess she's not in tune with this. Lily thought that the Girl Scouts badge was much too precious to leave lying about like that. She put it in her pocket just to be safe. Yeah, my guess, Birgit, that, you know, the reason she didn't take it with her is... Obviously, obviously she wanted Lily to have it. What other explanation is there, man? But now that we have the Girl Scout or the Scout badge, there it was. Birgit had but what? You remember the things in here that we couldn't have before because we didn't have a Scout badge? Well, now we can. Hey, don't touch it. That's my no. Okay, I thought I had to. All right, fine. But that's that's the Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. I had no idea I was talking to a genuine scout. I was a boy scout once, you know. <laughs> well, knock me over with a with a with my things over there. They're lying in that chest, you know. Because among scouts, there's no such thing as ownership and... and... And that's one of the many reasons why I never joined the Boy Scouts. That and I had horrific allergies and chronic bronchitis growing up. So, it'd be, you know, a little piece of history for you if you're interested. Okay, is this a good thing for us to have a musket at this point? I mean, we've crushed people, we've had them eaten by insects, we've caused people to kill themselves, and crush more people. Is it really a good idea to put a frickin' ball and pellet, or like a musket in the hands of Lily? Lily had asked for a musket last Christmas. Instead, she'd been given- Oh yeah, I forgot I actually opened that. Alright, I already heard that before. A uh, scout's? That's a pretty big knife. It's a serrated knife. Lily was used to not looking at knives anymore. She found the enticing way the light twinkled on them a little disturbing. But she's gonna take it anyway. 
Because why not? It's a freaking knife. And it's not like Lily's a psychotic killer or anything. No, she's just a good girl. Don't worry about that. She'll use it to maybe cut rope. I don't know what ladies use knives for. I don't really much care what they use knives for because Lily, she's not like other other ladies. She's even nicer. Where the heck do I go now? Oh, wait. Where do I go now? Oh, crap. I, time to just wander around. Might as well see what's in the cafeteria first. Apparently, I'm not supposed to be in the cafeteria unless I'm supposed to talk to Doris, the lunch lady, but I didn't think I was. Lily was used to not looking at... She found the... Unless I'm supposed to give the knife to the lunch lady because that's kind of her domain. I don't know. What do you have there? Is that my knife? Uh-huh. It's just unbelievable that a little brat like you is running around with a knife. Let me tell you, the youth of today are as rotten as next week's canned goulash. Don't you know how much damage a knife like that can do? Uh-uh. Should I show you? Uh-uh. You see? So hand it over before you hurt someone. Unbelievable. A little girl with a knife. So irresponsible. Here. Take this chainsaw instead! Now that I have my knife back, I won't need it anymore! What? Did... Um... Did you take your meds today, Doris? Lily wasn't going to do anything silly with the chainsaw. As a responsible girl, she knew that one shouldn't simply start sawing. She would wait until night, when she wouldn't bother anyone. <laughs> yes, of course. Keep until night. And then turn that thing on. That won't bother anybody, cause they're all, they'll all be asleep. That's the that's some great reasoning there. I didn't. I never thought of that, Lily. And that pretty much answers your other question of how do we get the inscription off of the tree? Well, we have a chainsaw now. I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh, and I don't think this is required, but this is a really this is kind of a funny scene. So we're gonna give the cigarettes to Shawnee because Shawnee acted like such a badass last time. Remember? What do you have there? Cigarettes? No thanks. You can keep those. Of course I smoke. I'm a real rebel. Remember? But only when I'm nervous. And since my nerves are like steel, it's just a hypothetical situation. I'm a hypothetical smoker, which is actually much tougher than a regular smoker. So in other words, you know you're you you know you're cough your lungs out, so you're not gonna smoke. Okay, tough guy. We will give him the cigarettes later, don't you worry, he'll be put in his place, but uh, not right now, I don't think. Right now, we have more important things to tend to. Like, oh, this is gonna end real well. Suka didn't seem to notice Lily. Lily didn't hold it against her. She was just worried that Suka might regret it someday. Suka didn't seem to notice Lily. Lily did. She didn't. So why should she long for Suka to fall off the swing and break all her bones? There was no reason at all to have thoughts such as these. Okay, I'm gonna admit I thought that was gonna be the same line, so I kind of skipped the first few. That was my fault, but yeah. Sadly, the chainsaws. Oh crap! It's empty. Oh crap! Where's the gas at? Oh, I remember. This was like some kind of MacGyver crap right here. You gotta use the alcohol on the chainsaw, because that's kind of like gas, except it's not. Lily had a brilliant idea. High-proof alcohol was an excellent fuel substitute for the gasoline chainsaw. Mother Superior would really be proud of her. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure proud is the word here, but yeah, sure. Boy, I'm sure this won't have any negative repercussions for Suka. She's just gonna... Maybe get some splinters in honor in her. I I don't know. Some nothing bad's gonna happen. Done. Lily had finished all of Edna's jobs and had gotten rid of all the evidence. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Lily, thank God. 
I have a new and much more serious problem. I can't find my diary anywhere. And all my escape plans are written in it. I even drew a map where I marked my hiding place. So forget about getting rid of the evidence. The... No, no, just forget it. The... It wasn't important anyway. The diary now has top priority. Please, help me look for it. If Mother Superior gets her hands on it, I'm done for. It has to be somewhere around here. Of course, Lily immediately knew what to do. <clears throat> she immediately knew what to do. Oh, man. I don't know what to do either. But yeah, I'm not sure why the music started playing twice out there. There, There's something going on here. I'm... I guess next time I record, I'm gonna have to just do it like a troubleshooting thing. Hopefully this won't, you know, happen again. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, anecdotal evidence, whatever you want to feel like saying, please put them in the comments below. I always look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. And you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. And hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone.